Hello everyone. Now we are talking about immediate dentures. Immediate dentures, the name tells us very clearly it is an immediate place denture. But immediately placed after what? Immediately placed after surgery, that is surgical extractions. After the extractions of the teeth has happened, due to the patient's need, we will prepare an immediate denture. Now we'll see what are the different types of immediate denture and how we go ahead with preparing an immediate denture. So coming up to the definition according to GPT-8 says any removable denture complete or partial fabricated for the placement immediately after the extraction or removal of the natural teeth or tooth. So that is how Hartwell defines an immediate denture to be a partial or a complete denture constructed to replace the lost structure and associated structure of maxilla and mandible immediately after an extraction of a teeth or a tooth. Now what are transitional dentures? Transitional denture, as the name tells us clearly, it is a transitional denture. A period uh, that is transitional from the time of extraction to the actual denture, complete denture. Till that time, the denture which is worn is called the transitional denture. The definition goes as, it is a partial denture to which a teeth can be added or um, that are lost which will be replaced after the post-extraction tissue changes has occurred. Coming to interim dentures. Now what are interim dentures? Interim dentures means it is those dentures that is given to the patient for their more aesthetic concerns, their functional habitation, their compatibility with the denture and those dentures get adapted soon. So these are the dentures that you need to replace after a time being or make changes, relining and rebasing in these dentures before giving up the final denture to the patient. Now requirements of the immediate complete dentures. Now according to Hartwell and Silsbergi, they say compatibility of the surrounding tissue is important. The masticatory effect efficiency increases in that case. The harmony with the function of the speech and the relation of the muscles with that of the denture also gets adapted soon. Aesthetic compatibility of course and most important thing according to D. Van was preservation. The structures which are present are getting preserved and resorption rate is decreased that we have seen when you place an immediate denture after the extraction of the teeth. Now coming to the reasons that you go ahead with can be physical reasons, that can be psychological reasons and phys physiological reasons. Physical reasons are like the ligaments around the temporomandibular joint if gets damaged or there is an unf unfavorable tuberculation of the repairing bone or there is any disuse atrophy of the bone. Whereas the psychological effects, how that does go, if the patient has got any humiliation, that there is no teeth after extraction, so to prevent that. Also, adverse subjective reaction, oh, you do not have teeth now, dog. So that is the reason the patient says, no, please give me a teeth even after extraction. So, what are the physiological reasons that we get? The resorption rate is decreased. Of course, the impaired communication is not there, so people can communicate. The patient has no problem in deglutition. So these are the reasons why we should go ahead with an immediate dentures. Now what are the indications for immediate denture? These are all the indications for immediate dentures. Those patients who had their anterior teeth at least left and posterior teeth all extracted, we can just remove those teeth and before removal of the teeth, the denture is to be ready based on the modifications done on the cast. We will see how those modifications are done. That is according to Killy's law of three modification, rule three modification. We'll see how it does. So those are the indications, those patients who are socioeconomically very active, like those who are into some speaking, those who are into some valuable social work, those people do not want them to be recognized as they do not have teeth. So we give an immediate denture in those cases. We need to know the contraindications for immediate dentures very seriously. That is, if the patient is having poor general health, we cannot give those patients. Those patients who are not emotionally strong enough to take up that or who will not accept or appreciate your work of doing immediate denture which takes more effort from a dentist. So those will not be appreciated, do not give it in those cases. 
indifferent and unappropriative patients you have to understand the psychology of the patient in the case of acute periapical infection or any periodontal infection present we cannot give it in surgery in the anterior region which has taken place then those cases you need to give rest for the healing you cannot give an immediate denture in those cases where there is a bone loss adjacent to the remaining tooth structure again you cannot give because it will also increase the bone loss if we are having a pressure constantly into the area where there is bone loss already present so we cannot give in those kind of patients so these are contraindications coming to the advantages of immediate denture the first and foremost advantage is patient is happy because now he do not have natural teeth but he has some artificial teeth to replace that natural teeth so psychologically the patient is very happy and it is also socially when he is me or she is meeting anybody nobody recognize himself or herself to be dentulous they do not recognize as the teeth as their before was still there then also the preservation of the residual ridge also remains the residual ridge do not resolve more if there is an immediately placement of a denture that studies have been showing so proprioceptive response is not gone of the patient and most importantly we now know because of giving an immediate denture what corrections we are supposed to do in the final denture placement we now know what difficulties now we are going to face before giving the final prosthesis and we know the corrections that we are supposed to make in the final prosthesis so advantages both towards the patient as well as to the dentist what comes as a disadvantage of the immediate denture number one the appointments are going to increase number two the patient himself or herself is going to have the feeling that he is paying twice because he has to make another denture so the cost factor is very important here the third important thing is the effort that the dentist is going to take it takes a lot of effort to do another denture to make the previous outcome a new outcome that is to convert the immediate denture to a final complete denture it takes very much efforts so that effort from the dentist is a double effort from the patient it is double pay so these are the disadvantages of a immediate denture coming to the classification arthur and arthur arthur lee valley and arthur j crawl both gave a classification of conventional it can be interim or transitional dentures then diagnostic denture is there any difference between interim and transitional denture yes there is in interim dentures you cannot add on teeth in transitional dentures you can add on teeth so diagnosis and treatment planning in these patients very important what is diagnosis we all know it is the decision and determination of the nature and the cause of the severity of the disease so first thing is you need to explain to the patient that why are we giving an immediate denture why that the patient needs an immediate denture what are the outcomings of the immediate denture that the patient is not supposed to expect what are the outcomings of the coming denture immediate denture that the patient will be uncomfortable about so explanation to the patient is very important coming to the diagnostic procedure examination of the patient if there is any bone defect if there is any mucosal defects in those patients you cannot go ahead with immediate dentures consultation is very important to the patient and also explanation and awareness of the use of immediate denture is also important patient examination the local examination and systemic if their patient is suffering from any debilitating diseases like diabetes mellitus or any such diseases in those patients also we cannot go ahead with immediate denture because the resorption rate of diabetes patients are already more we will give immediate denture that will put more pressure into the ridge and more resorption will occur so what are in the consultation interview we are supposed to ask we are supposed to ask about the past medical history the past dental history the patient has explanation of what he wants and also the systemic condition which is there in the patient and what it can worsen and what it can do good to the patient coming to the tooth modifications now what are the tooth modifications which are required before going on to the extraction many immediate denture will modification of opposing teeth is required to correct the occlusal plane and prosthetic plane and for doing that there is no harm and it is good in fact to do the correction of the occlusion opposing teeth based on what we can give a good denture prosthetic plane that is parallel to the allotragus line and also to the anterior reference point that is the interpupillary line oral prophylaxis is must before going ahead for any immediate dentures and other treatments which are required like endodontic treatment therapy like root canal therapy is required to the any of the teeth 
the opposing teeth i mean to say or any crown is to be given in any of the teeth any bridges to be given in any of the places which are missing any implants to be done in the places which are missing all those treatments have to be completed before forwarding towards a mhd dentition so treatment planning first it comes the extraction visit then primary impression is made and preparation of the custom tray final impression is made you will go ahead with the jaw relation of the patient then trying will be done preparation of the patient for the surgery on the day and insertion of the denture that is immediate denture on the same day so post operative instructions and care is the most important thing for an immediate denture patients so the first extraction visit when the patient has some anterior teeth you will mark those teeth in the articulator you will make a primary impression of the teeth of the cast is poured and you will make a custom tray where you will do the bottom molding and you will take a pickup impression from that you will make a master cast and wax films will be prepared on that jaw relation is recorded and trine is done now you will mark with red cross the teeth that are going to be extracted on the day of extraction and you will remove those teeth from the cast now what is the rule of removing the teeth from the cast so kili has given a rule of third which is how to reduce the teeth which is present in the cast from the extraction site and then make a denture on that a denture base on that a wax rim on that and arrange the teeth so rule of third says so that the first cut should be made in the labial direction the third part of the labial direction that means when you divide the entire teeth into three parts on the occlusal view first you reduce the labial half then you reduce the lingual half and then you contour it into the round section that is what is done we can see step by step it is done first it is the labial half which is reduced then it is reduced from the center then the lingual half is reduced and then you contour it back and this is how after that the teeth is arranged artificial teeth onto the cast after ball out a knife is used to smooth out the extraction site and harmonious rounding of the contour you are supposed to make without fail a surgical template for an immediate denture patient why is that so now the cast that you modified that will guide your extraction now once the extraction is done if we have some labial bone which is outside some labial bone which is protruding out you need to reduce that how much are you going to reduce you have reduced in the cast how will you do it intraorally so to transfer whatever you have done in the cast you will make after after modification of the cast you will make a surgical template and that you will place intraorally like this when the surgery has happened you will see if this is template is fitting properly in the patient's mouth and whatever necessary alveoloplasty vestibuloplasty is required just do ahead before finalizing the immediate denture in the patient's mouth then processing and finishing of the denture of course and denture placement is done on the day of the extraction of the patient so this is how we have given her the denture immediate denture just on the day of the extraction so now the patient is going out with the teeth as she had come with the teeth after care in the first 24 hours are very important reason being we are not supposed to ask the patient to remove those dentures in the 24 hours so another important thing that is to be taken care in first 24 hours is the premature removal of the dentures that could make its reinsertion impossible for 3 to 4 days or until reduction of the swelling has taken place also avoid vigorous amount of mouth washing which is to be avoided for 3 to 4 days avoid any hot food beverages or any even cold food or drinks and alcohol should be avoided any analgesics are to be prescribed so that if patient is having any problem analgesics will help in that there has to be soft and liquid diet which is to be taken now what are the examinations that we are supposed to do after 24 hours that is irrigation with a warm saline is important in the area of extraction the checking the tissues for the sore spot which is likely to happen in 1 to 2 days because of the denture coming as a foreign object inside the mouth also there has to be can be any gross occlusal discrepancies if present has to be removed and corrected with the help of articulating paper and even retention of the denture is evaluated if there is unsatisfactory result in the denture is to be relined in the very appointment after 24 hours then after we need to even encourage the patient saying that dentures for the mastication is important what will help in that is the blood supply of that particular patient is going to get fast 
Whenever there is a more blood into any particular area, we all know very well that the healing in that particular area increases. So these are the examination that you are supposed to do after 24 hours. Now you need to see what are the care of the oral tissue that the patient needs to take for immediate dentures. That is, the denture is to be removed 4 to 5 times a day. It has to be kept clean. Most important, whenever removed, the denture is to be warm, rinsed with the mouth has to be rinsed with the warm saline and the denture is to be washed with the help of soap or any kind of brushes. The nutrition should be great enough but it should be soft. The first seven days it should be soft diet which should be followed and it should be worn in the night for two to three days in the starting period. Coming to the care of the dentures in per se, the dentures will be cared how? With the help of brushes, with the help of liquids or soap. We have this polydent tablets present which we can put in the water before inserting the denture in the water at the night time. So this is how we need to take care of the denture. Coming to examination after a week when the patient comes back to you. Put the disclosing pastes in the backside or the integral surface of the denture. You will see the white paste or zinc oxide eugenol. You can put that paste and then put it insert the, into the patient's mouth. Those area where the disclosing paste has gone off means there is a high spot. Remove and correct that high spot in that particular adjusted. And you are supposed to encourage your patients for further and further appointments to be taken because immediate dentures need more recall schedules as any other denture patients. After two weeks, remount the denture on the articulator and refine the occlusion which is present. Because if you are not going to do that, what happens more is your occlusion discrepancies are going to happen because the ridges are going to resorb a bit. So when the ridges are going to resorb, the occlusion feather touch effect is going to go away. So when the feather touch effect is going away, it will cause more resorption of the bone. To reduce and to be aware of that, we are first and foremost ask the patient to get back their dentures, mount it back, do the occlusional discrepancies correcting and then forward it back to the patient. And we are very importantly supposed to say the patient to get back to you after three to four months to make a new denture to the patient when the healing is totally happened. So this is what the immediate denture is. The most important thing about that was it is yes happening in the same appointment when the extraction is taking place. It gives more psychological effect, good psychological support to the patient as well as the resorption of the bone is very less. It also increases the work of the dentist but anyways what satisfies, what satisfies our patient is satisfying to the dentist. So you need to consider immediate dentures. Thank you.